It's your fault, you did this. You can try to defeat your enemies with nukes in your favorite t-shirt. Hunter x Hunter episode 130, Magic X of X Despair. Why does it sound like poof? Your castle is in ruins. Oh, that's so clever. <laughs> Emily is there too. Long time coming. That's some great Nen concealment. Oh, yeah, it's one at a time. Human grapes. King's like, did I do this? Is this, this what I wanted? I ordered this? With all my supreme intellect and power? Human grapes? Oh, but jokes on you, the Gunji board is already in all of our hearts. Muffin, he's having a moment, drying his eyes. They have left the vicinity, yeah. How many people can you track at once? This is highly intrusive, but like if there was some way to have this power where you can make sure you're not capturing embarrassing moments, it would be kind of cool to like be able to see your family and stuff from Korea. <laughs> from abroad, from wherever you were. That would be nice. Oh yeah, we already have that. It's called phones. Never mind. There's like this dual nature of Pum. She's got crazy stalker vibes for sure, but there's also something at heart that's kind of loving about her. Maybe that's the story of a lot of these characters. Okay, that answers that question. Oh, it's not even that you can't see three at once, it's that you can only hold the possibility for three at once. Oh, so that's true. She's got that scary aspect of her. Yeah, Poof's doing a lot of damage to himself. Hello. There's Welfin. <laughs> oh no. I actually care about Welfin. This arc is full of surprises. What happens? What happens here? This is really things coming to a head. You, you rescue Kite, presumably, and then rocks his or paper blast Pito into death? What? Oh, he's being forced to do this. That's what's going in a lot of danger. Is this Poof doing an impression? Gon's leverage just evaporated if she's fooled. Oh, I can shapeshift. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm gonna get fooled by this, aren't I? It's Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood all over again. Gon has no idea. This is gonna say going deeper into his rage. Gon's love for Kite got him to this point. Fix him. Peter's showing a lot of respect, just not immediately attacking him. Why? Why do you want to know? Oh, yeah, there was no guarantee she could change anything. I'm going to bet everything on that. I don't think this is really fathomable for him at this point. He might just out reject outright what she just said. This is Gon not getting his way, but in the highest and highest stakes, the most emotionally damaging way we've ever seen. His corpse had to wait until this moment <laughs> to fall, <laughs> just to really drive it home. 
You failed and you are powerless. I mean, yeah. If it's me, I'm exploring options. I'm like, okay, well, whatever. Can you bring him back? Like this, but like also not like this. Aside from the most important thing, the glaringly obvious pain of considering the fact that Kite is dead. This is also something Gon has developed his whole psychology around not looking at, which is that there's some things you can't control. And that's not a failure on your part. It doesn't speak to your character or your strength. There's a really admirable part of this for Gon that is, in the face of uncertainty, he takes the most positive, the most useful outlook. But I mean, the other half of that is absorbing new information, accepting the truth. And this is largely to his credit. He's been able to set a milestone, the achievement of which gives him that feeling of power back, like punching Isoko in the face. Like, okay, I got defeated, but I'm going to make sure I can impose my will in this one way. This is something you can't impose his will on. You can't reckon with this. And so I feel very high likelihood that this is just total rejection and fury. And not just because of the loss of Kite. He was there, and there's no one to knock him out this time. Alright, that's actually a relief. Feel sincere. Yes, this is a breaking point. As hor horrific as this is, I think, so far this is this is positive. It's a breakdown. It's also a relief for me as a viewer because I feel like it helps me connect with Gonmore. Whereas until now, I've been largely worried about the damage he would he would cause and the evil he would do. I think that was probably the best possible reaction so far. I guess we'll never find out what Kaida had to say. Pito also feels like she's changed. I mean, who knows if she would even do that again. If she could go back, she can see. Gon is crying. Kite is dead. Don't push it. Oh, wow. Save that one. She's a cute kid. Oh. Oh, she wasn't monitoring. He's crying. Kite's dead. And you're really far away. You just gotta have faith. Oh, that's his father again. If I had only. Who knows? It wasn't. It all happened very suddenly, though. Everything was great until it wasn't. It wasn't. It was not. This is the flip side of that. I can do anything. The world is at my command. The world is my oyster. Everything is a game for me. The judgment of my character comes down to the results I can affect. From my perspective, there really was nothing that Gon could have done. And there's nothing that Gon can do by blaming himself. For that matter, there's nothing Gon can do by blaming Pito, even if it is her fault. Really curious and also a little bit terrified to see how he internalizes this. That also explains, I mean, again, obvious, most obvious thing of just the pain of losing Kite aside. It explains some of, at least, the reason why he was so dedicated and would do anything to try to fix it. Yes, Kite's life is the main thing at stake, but there's also more than Kite's life at stake. It's like Gon's whole existence. At some weird level, it's like his father's view of him. Okay. Uh, yeah, oh, okay, I was kind of afraid it would go here. That's true, but also... Okay. Wow, he's all over the place. Just grief. Imagine if Gon saw the, the head petting scene. Oh, he's at war, yeah. That hurts, in hindsight. Wow, going only for help. Wow, this is incredible. He put a lot into this. This is the road of salvation he took. It reminds me of Tanjiro, although this hasn't really been borne out in the show, but Tanjiro loses his family, and instead of really... I mean, he deals with it, he copes with it, but his lifeline emotionally was like, well, I'll protect Nezuko. That's where he transferred the emotion, you know, something to do. Something to focus on. That isn't just the brutal reality of, like, everything's finished, and I did nothing to stop it. Gon has no such luxury. There's nowhere to shift. I mean, he put everything into this. And Gon has yet to, like, cope with anything. Failure or death. <laughs> It was very real, though. It was very real. It was a mix of grief and rage. It was very Evangelion. Does Pito feel pity for him? Any sort of sympathy or mercy? You can try. 
Euthanize the kid. <laughs> what about his misery? Or try, you could try, yeah, try something. I don't know if that's good though. But it's a nice gesture from Pito. That's, I don't know, don't get your hopes up. My brain is searching for something, anything. Oh, it's only her? That was maybe not the move in that moment. I know that feeling of desperation and you get a glimmer of hope that you immediately recognize as you're fooling yourself and it hurts all the worse. It's like when you have a breakup and your phone vibrates and like for a second you're like, oh, it's her, but it's not her. And if it is her, it's like, can you give me back my shirt or you owe me $50 <laughs> for that thing I ordered you online. I don't know. There's no, there's nowhere to go. I mean, in these situations, it's just pain. I feel like the danger for Gon is that he tries to do something, but there's not anything that can fix it. There's just things that can make things worse. Like a lot worse. Speaking of things to look for to, you know, channel that energy and find something to lean on emotionally. Revenge is a very powerful one. I'll make them pay for what they've done. That occupies that slot. In an extreme case, I'll burn everything to the ground. Morality, consequences, be damned. You know, that's, that's Shigaraki. That's also Eren, to an extent, at least. Going calling out for help is shocking. As far as I can remember, I've never seen anything remotely close to this. It's like a total breaking of spirit. But then there's always like this dual path in that moment. Like either you get broken and then you slowly rebuild or you reject. You reject it because it's painful and you find something else like revenge or whatever. You transfer. He's also caught between two terrible things. Like one is it's all my fault and the other is Pito should suffer. The real answer is just that it's really tragic what happened and there's nothing you can really do about it. Pito was showing very, very poor awareness to summon Dr. Blythe at that moment. <laughs> It's crazy. It's like this duality of little boy, little sad boy that I love and terrifying revenge creature. Gong slept on the floor. Uncharacteristic. This guy's a demon. What? When do these episodes get so short? No, don't end on, on Gong's crying face. I don't think, I don't know. I don't know if anything's helping Kite. Maybe there's, I don't know. See, there I go falling for the same thing. Poor Gon. The help me please, man. It's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a lot. It hurt. Gon asking for help from what, God? He's always found a way out, right? Like he managed to tag Netero. He managed to punch Hisoka in the face. He always has a way of getting like one foot in the door so he can continue, continue to believe that he's in control, can do whatever he wants. There's no reckoning with this. And now Pito's back to full health. So there's also immense physical danger. Poof must be stopped. <laughs> that was actually really well played by Poof, who, you know, is doing all of this for love. I know it's far, but this is a moment where Kalua could really be of a lot of use as a friend. Just to be by his side and protect him and, you know, not even necessarily try to comfort him or say anything. Just to be there physically, you know, let me take on the weight for a bit.